15, it says, give the equation. As soon as it says that, always y minus y sub 1, slope times x minus x sub 1. Now, it does one in standard form. Okay, no big deal. So, it's parallel to this guy. Well, this guy has a slope of 3. If I'm parallel, I'm going to have the exact same slope. So, I'm going to use a slope of 3. What's my x value? 4. That's my x sub 1. My y sub 1 is the 5. That's easy. Y minus 5, distribute through 3x minus 12. Add my 5 to both sides. I'll have it almost there. Minus what? 7. Now, that's slope-intercept form, but it doesn't want that. That's why it's bold and says standard form, please. No big deal. Just got to move my x back over. Remember, standard form is ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are all uh integers with a having to be a whole number. Um, so we need x and y basically on that side. So I need to move it over. So I'll subtract 3x. I have negative 3x plus y equals negative 7. Now, I cannot have a negative. Can't have it in front. Can't start with a negative. So I control that by multiplying everybody through by negative 1. That will control the first piece, making it positive. Can't control the other pieces. They're going to come out all types of different things. But that does make it at least so that my A value is positive, which it has to be. So I have 3X minus Y equals 7. There's the answer. That's in standard form. What about the next guy? Standard form, okay. But it wants the equation, so I'm always going to go to this point-slope formula to do things. Okay. Um, I have my X sub 1 here, my Y sub 1 here. I need, it's parallel to this equation. Well, i got to get that guy in slope-intercept form. So the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to move that 12X over by subtracting it. That's going to give me 2Y equals a negative 12X plus 8. I'm now going to divide by 2. Everybody gets divided by 2. That gives me Y equals negative 6X plus four. Don't really care about the four. This guy has a slope of negative six. If I'm parallel with him, I'm going to have the same slope. So our slope is going to be negative six also. X minus, what's our X sub one? That's a negative one, which will change to what? Plus one. Y minus, my Y sub one is a two. I now distribute my negative six through. So Y minus two is a negative six X minus two. Add your 2, moving it over, negative 6x minus 4. There's the answer in slope-intercept form, but it wants standard. So it just means i got to move my x back over on the other side by adding 6x to both sides. And there you have it, 6x plus y equals negative 4. No fractions. The value in front of the x at the very beginning is positive. And 6, 1, and negative 4 have nothing by which they all can be divided. The greatest common factor is 1. So we're done with that one.